Hi, I'm Peter Frampton. I just want to let you know about my new single, which is called I Saved a Bird Today. And I did, but it wasn't today. I want to tell you the story. Basically, um, I got up late one Sunday and uh, went into the bathroom, cleaned my teeth, and noticed there was a shadow behind the shade over the window. Um, and there's a balcony outside there. And um, so I looked behind the shade and there was this giant bird uh, who had flown into my window and just dropped and was very stunned um, and uh, wasn't looking too good. He was looking at me as if to say, help. And so anyway, I immediately Googled um, uh, save a bird <laughs> or whatever it was and um, got, the, got the number of a, um, a wildlife uh, saving person here in the Nashville area and called her up and said, look, I've got this giant bird on my uh, balcony and uh, he's hurt and stunned. And she said, look, if it's that big of a bird, I think if you just go about your day, two or three hours, come back and he will have probably come around and uh, flown away. So I did, we, we went away and did our stuff and came back two or three hours later and I go, oh, better check the bird. So I went to the window and pulled up the shade, and he is very well now. Uh, he's peacocking around my balcony and um, uh, looking very good, but also looking very strong. And I'm thinking, why has he not flown away? So I called Save a Bird Lady and um, said, um, he's really well now, but he's still here. Um, why hasn't he flown away? And she said, well, why don't you tell me a little bit more about the bird. How about his feet? I said, ginormous feet. I mean, really large. And uh, she said, well, is there any, uh, are they webbed feet? I said, no, it's not a duck. I know my ducks uh, from a bird. And uh, so, got my ducks in a row. And um, so she said, well, go look again. So I looked at the feet and there they were. There were these little tiny uh, half moon webs on either side of each of the toes, I think you call them. And um, so, uh, I said, yes. And she said, oh. And then she started to chuckle a little and said, um, well, I think I know what you have. I said, good. What is it and how do I get rid of it? She said, you have an American coot. I said, oh, good. And uh, she said, well, the only thing about the American coot is that it's one of a handful of birds that only takes off from water. I said, you're kidding me. Uh, it's now like 6.30 at night and it's getting a little dark. And I said, I can't just drop it off the balcony. She said, oh no, no. Um, it's got to take off from water. So she said, do you have a river? I said, yeah. So I go down to the river here, um, and down Broadway, and as it dead ends into the river. And, uh, but first of all, I had to get the, the bird into what she said, put it, do you have a cardboard box? Put it in the box take it down to the river and you should be fine. So um, I said, how do I get it in the box? She said, oh, that's easy. Just throw a towel over it, <laughs> pick it up and put it in the box. Well, it was ugly, but I got him in the box, him or her, and taped up the box. His head came out the handhole, so I had to push him back in. And then I taped it down, took it to my car, drove down, and it's now seven o'clock, um, to the river here in Nashville and found my way down uh, until I'm about 18 inches off the water and uh, put the box down, gently lifted the lid off, untaped it, and he's just looking at me like, yeah? And so um, I thought, well, maybe I'll tip it on the side and he'll see the water. So as I tipped the box gently on its side, he saw the water, kicked the box, kicked me, was in the water, and then did that almost in slow motion as it just walked across the water and took off. And I just went, I saved a bird. And who, know, who knew that that was going to be a song when I told Gordon Kennedy the story and um, he next came, came round. I said, I've got some music a few days later and I didn't think we were gonna write about the bird necessarily, but he had got a first verse and maybe more of the story, um, and which I've just told you. And so 
That's why it's called I Saved a Bird Today. And I can't tell you the feeling, great feeling it is to, as that thing was taking off, knowing that I'd actually saved the life of, you know, okay, it wasn't a human being, which I would love to save, but it was a bird, it was a living thing. And um, it just made me think of what's going on today. We need a little bit more love and caring and truth.